Advancements in information and communications technologies, along with rising economic openness between countries, have revolutionized the business environment of the 21st century. These new technologies are bringing about globalization and are giving some of the nation's rural areas with distribution access and a trained workforce the ability to compete in the world marketplace. As competition for fewer and larger economic development projects comes our way, we have to be ready for these companies that are looking for uh, shorter lead times in startup, more profitable areas, as well as lower costs to get up and running. Uh, transportation plays a big factor in these areas, and in rural uh, areas today, we're able to compete not only in transportation costs and startup costs, but also in technology. With the advances of technology, we can compete with world markets. In the southern region of South Carolina, the counties of Allendale, Bamberg, Barnwell, and Hampton are attracting many international corporations. The Southern Carolina Alliance, or SCA, is the driving force behind much of this economic development. The Southern Carolina Alliance is a marketing and recruitment organization that goes out and recruits industry to our area. The main function is to improve the quality of life of our far residents as well as improve the per capita income through job creation and investment. Uh, the capital investment in our region has been very good over the past few years because we've been able to successfully recruit several hundred million dollar projects to our region. The SCA region of South Carolina is ideally located halfway between New York and Miami and is within a day's driving reach of over 75 percent of the U.S. population. The region is strategically situated with transportation access to other markets in the U.S., as well as destinations around the globe via the ports of Charleston and Savannah, four major airports, multiple trucking routes, and rail access points. Lake Rose moved into this uh, facility or this area eight years ago, and uh, the company's grown significantly over that time. Uh, and two years ago, we decided we needed to expand, and we looked at lots of options uh, and uh, determined that uh, being located between Savannah and, and Charleston was great for us, so we decided to expand here. The region provides a competitive edge to international industries seeking global success. Chronotech's decision to expand into the United States was based upon the large American market that at the time was very undeveloped uh, for our wood panel and flooring products, and also equally important, the availability of raw materials. South Carolina fit that need very well because of the pro-business environment in addition to the availability of timber and the availability of strong, well-educated, well-trained employees. Now Scotsman's ice machine plant in the United States used to be in Minnesota. And in 1980, we built this facility in Fairfax. In the years that we've been here, we've expanded our plant twice. We feel good about our location. We feel good about our employees here. And so far, we've been very successful here over the last 25, 27 years. The Alliance's Certified Business Ready program ensures a certified pool of workers and a certified site location. Through our Business Certified Ready program, we are able to work on two things, product development for industries coming in. This program allows our product, meaning our industrial sites, um, uh, to be ready for industry to get them up and running uh, three to six months in advance of what they normally would do. What we try to do is to certify the sites through infrastructure, uh, through the geological work, the environmental work, et cetera, which saves the companies a lot of expense and a lot of time in getting their companies up and going. We also have, uh, over the past few years, we've identified over 2,000 workers that meet the National Certified Program of Work Keys Assessment that tells us that these people are, are uh, very willing and able and qualified to go to work in these types of industries. To learn more about this story, please visit southerncarolina.org.